A few weeks ago, there was a call that went out for uh, small bits of equipment, and I applied, and we got an Apple Watch for the department. So we can now use this bit of tech, so wearable um, fashion tech, for research. So yesterday, when we got it, we played around with it. This actually got um, synced with Rachel Pugstark's iPhone account. Um, so you can't just take this and start using your research. You have to set it up properly. And the way you do that is actually pretty simple. So first of all, this, these are her apps and things. You don't want that. We want to get in there and reset it. So we just sort of scroll around here. Um, if you want to get to this menu from, say, you know, you're in clock, just press the little crown on the side here. So just tap that, and we are there. If you scroll down, you go zoom out, and then zoom in. Anyway, so scroll around here, go into settings, and give a second, and we should be able to see at the bottom, uh, general, and then reset. Okay, erase all, yes. All media data, yep, we want to continue. And that's gonna take it back to absolute zero. Okay, our iPhone, sorry, our Apple Watch has now been reset. So the first thing we see here is language, um, quite in, obviously English UK, and restart setup. This will restart cancel, we want. I tapped um, far too hard there, so gentle taps way forward. So set language to English UK, yep. It's now set the language. Okay. So we need to now pair the Apple Watch with an iPhone. And I've got an iPhone here on the um, side. So start pairing. And that's now ready to go. So on our iPhone, we open up the Apple Watch app, which we've got just there. And I want to start pairing. And I need to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. So um, swipe from the bottom of the screen. Bluetooth is now on. Let's go back into our my watch, start pairing. So it's asking me to hold the camera up now. If you've got to see this on two screens now. So holding it there, trying to get it in view. Yep, so we need to set up Apple Watch. Um, I wear it on my left wrist. Don't know why I want to know that, but it does. It's just taking its time. Okay, so I agree terms and conditions. And I need to enter my password, so I'm gonna cut this part here. Okay, so I need to location services. I'm happy with that, so okay. And yep, we we'll use Siri. And um, yeah, so everything automatically, that's fine. Create a passcode. I don't think I need that. Um, what do I need it? Can I get out of that? Um, right, so I'm going to put one, two, three, four. Um, okay, it doesn't work, so I'm going to put uh, you know, one, three, seven, nine. One, three, seven, nine. Do you want to unlock Apple Watch with your iPhone? Sure, why not? And I'm gonna choose later which apps to install. So it's now syncing information with the phone. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes when it's done. Okay, so the watch has now reset, and you see at the front here that we've got a um, little watch face. Now we're we'll trying to do something with use a passcode. So we're gonna put in our little code, one, three, seven, nine. Okay, now just so you know, to change this uh, screen, just press down firmly, and we can swipe. I'm gonna choose, you know, let's go for something fun. Let's go for Mickey Mouse. Okay, so we've now got Mickey Mouse on our watch face. So right now, um, we can't do that much with this. We can do various things, and all these things related to the phone you've synced it with. So my calendar, my weather, my trips, my phone, all these bits which are fun, but not really very good for research. So we need to get some apps in there. So we've got um, 
let's go to uh, App Store and I'm going to search for ASOS. So let's get the ASOS app. And the reason why I'm choosing this is I know there is a um, thing, so another passcode. Right, that's downloading. So we're getting this onto a thing. I know that there's a fashion app for um, Apple Watch for ASOS, so that's the only reason why I'm doing this. Right, because it's gone to sleep, so we've got the Mickey Mouse there. Actually, it turns out the resolution on the screen is incredible, and on the video here, it doesn't look quite as impressive, but it is absolutely stunning how close to clear. Anyway, so we've got the ASOS app there now. So I want to now add the ASOS app to my watch so I can do some research into ASOS. So I click on Apple Watch. Uh, it's already OK. And I want to choose some apps. So here we have um, the ASOS app. Click there and show app on watch. So it's installing. And on the watch, we don't really see anything yet. Put a little lock in. One, three, seven, nine. Now you see there, it's, it's, it's being installed. So in real time, it's going. So I'm going to bring up ASOS on my iPhone. And yeah, now I'm going to go for Shop for Men, because I'm a guy. So here we have our ASOS app, lots of fun stuff. And if we click on the app here, we can see there it is. Now, obviously, you can, any app, you can go this way. Um, so we've got to sign in stuff, I'm going to skip that. So yeah, you can go from here on into how to see the difference between smartwatches and iPhones and tablets. But for now, that is how to completely reset the department's Apple Watch for your work.